everyone, it's me, Tina, also known as Resell Royalty 74, right here on YouTube on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Etsy. I also sell on ThreadUp. Um, I have the part two of our ThreadUp bulk 100 pound unboxing. Uh, this was a mystery box. You don't know what you're going to get. That's really kind of created to help resellers with um, items to resell online. So I'm a part-time reseller for you here. Um, I have a nine to five job as a sociologist for a nonprofit organization. And um, I also resell as a business on the side. So that's my number two job. I'm also a mom. I'm also a wife and I'm a dog mom, which is super important. Um, so hang tight. We're going to go over what came in my thread up box. Okay, so I ordered this box. I've already listed part one of this box. There's one huge 50 pound box. I'm currently still waiting on the second box to arrive. Um, both of my boxes I know have come from Sewanee, Georgia, which really made me nervous. Um, I've gotten horrible boxes from Georgia before. Um, so we're gonna see what we have in the last half of this box. As a disclaimer, I pulled the rest of the items out of the box and put them on hangers so that I could show you what I had. Um, I will tell you that I already set aside like five items that were just like plain black skirts, lots of Ann Taylor, Old Navy, just regular brown or black skirts. I have tons of skirts and I don't want more. They are just not selling. So those are going to my local buy, sell, trade store. I'm not even going to bother listing those. So I just thought it's kind of boring to show anyway. So that's why those aren't in this haul. I also set aside, let's see, six items that were just plain colored tank tops. Um, it's like repetitive pants, boring brown khaki pants. So set those aside. I will say that I definitely received more than 50 items in this box. So it's not like in a 100 pound bulk box and you get 100 items. Um, I definitely received more than 50 items in my box. Um, I, you will see as we go through things, I did receive a few uh, new with tags items, most people do, and they were all time and true Walmart brand items. <laughs> um, that was my big complaint about my other box. And I'm, if I look a little irritated, it's because I am. I'm a little frustrated. I'm really hoping the second box that arrives is better quality items. I have received some really cool brands, don't get me wrong, like probably five or six brands that are great brands to resell. So I'm happy about that, but I also need to make back my $300 and a profit or what's the point of going through all this, right? So I have several Walmart brand items in this box, just like the last one from Georgia. Um, and that's frustrating because they are hard to move unless they're really cute pieces, they're hard to move. And you can't ask for much for those items. So um, I will try to sell them because they're new with tags, but I know that I just can't list them for much because they can get them at Walmart. So there's that disclaimer out of the way. Otherwise, let's dig in and see what the rest of my box had. There are a lot of items here, so stay tuned. Grab yourself a drink or a snack or something. Okay, let's start with this. So this is a 860, yeah, 860 brand extra small pullover blouse, little popover. It's got the button sleeves. As you can see, it's got the V-neck. And A60, um, I think, is sold at Lord & Taylor, I'm pretty sure. So it's a higher-end brand, but still, you know, it's pre-owned. So when you're selling on Poshmark, you might be able to get $20, $25. It's a basic black blouse. It's extra small, so I'm not sure how much I'll get for it. But I'm going to list it, so we'll see. And then... I have this, another handmade clothing item that might be vintage, I really don't know. But it's this Asian, like, it feels like quilted material. Um, it's like an Asian style shirt. It's pretty cool looking. It's got the buttons here. Y'all know I love vintage clothing, so there's no label, which makes me think it's handmade. It is reversible, so as you see this material, you can flip it, and there's buttons on the other side. 
so it can be worn both ways, which is kind of cool. So I'll definitely list it because I just think it's a neat looking shirt. But I am surprised how many vintage clothing items I received in this box. It's really surprising. I, I've watched many bulk unboxings and I haven't seen that much vintage, like maybe one or two pieces. So I have quite a few in here. Um, so that's been interesting to note too. I love vintage clothes. I will sell it. I'll definitely post it, but they don't move fast. They kind of sit until the right buyer and the, and the right size finds it and is looking for it. So um, because you list vintage a little higher than regular clothing because it's vintage. So um, we'll see how that fares. Also have, this was a pretty cool item that I saw in the box that I would like to see more of. Um, this is an Adidas. It's a men's pullover. So it's an Adidas men's jacket. Really neat look to it, the gray, and then it's got the pockets. It's got the hood in the back. Here's your stripes. Those Adidas stripes are everything right now. Um, and this is a David Beckham collab, which is really cool. It's a men's size large. So I think this could fetch a pretty nice price. So it's at least that, you know, I had a few star items in this box. So I was very happy to see that item because that is going to be popular. Uh, I had several J. Crew items. They're all the older J. Crew brand. Um, I like this navy uh, nautical blue and white striping. It's a long sleeve shirt. It's got the scoop neck. Um, it's a size medium. It does have some pilling that I can see on here, so I can go over it with my depiller see how that fares, but I will list this item because I think nautical inspired looks are good for spring and especially summer. Then I have this, I have never heard of this brand Swoon. I think it's a boutique, a size large black, just a simple midi black dress. You have the opening in the back. Uh, it looks like it's lined. So don't, not familiar with that brand. And then I have, I have lots of tanks and I'm grateful for the summer stuff. I got like four or five pairs of shorts, lots of tanks and athletic wear. Um, I'm grateful for that, but I, some of them aren't in the greatest condition or they don't have tags or brands. So it's kind of hard to move them. Um, for a tank top, you really just can't ask for much unless it's like Athleta or Lululemon, then you can you know, definitely ask for a pretty penny, but otherwise it's just really going to sit there or sell for cheap. This is an H&M. And it's kind of like a silk texture, like a velour, if you can see that. Um, it says it's size medium, but that looks bigger than a medium to me. So um, it does show some signs of wear, like it's been worn quite a bit. But um, H&M actually does okay for me. A lot of people say, oh, don't pick up H&M, but um, I don't really have a problem moving it. So I don't know. I, I People still buy it, I guess. So. Okay. Next, uh, American Eagle Outfitters, little Henley, small, I think it's extra small. Can't even tell what the tag says, but I think it's an extra small American Eagle Henley. I think this is kind of like a dated, it's got the 3D letters. I think it's kind of dated looking, um, so I'm not sure if it will get much attention. American Eagle jeans, obviously we all know those sell really well, but the shirts and sweaters can really just sit. And I don't think I've ever even sold an American Eagle shirt. They just sit there. So I usually end up, you know, giving it to someone else. That will probably go to my buy, sell trade. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that right now because it's gonna go to the buy, sell trade store. I'll see if they'll pick it up because they do sell. They, my bills, buy, sell trade will actually um, take items that don't have a brand label on them. So that's pretty cool. I don't think they take it if it doesn't have a size, but if it doesn't have a label, they'll just say no label or no brand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is a really cool item. This is T Babaton Linen and Silk Blend Extra Extra Small Sweater, but this is an Aritzia brand. So if you see the Babaton, you want to pick it up. Aritzia is super popular, very much trending. People are paying a pretty penny for these items. Um, I've never been able to find an Aritzia brand item anywhere. And it is a silk wool blend. I did look up the material on here. So as you can see, it's pretty, uh, pretty see-through there, sheer. But it is a sweater, lightweight. The back has this really cool opening. Not sure if that's picking up. but It has the opening in the back. That's pretty neat. So happy about that. That one will 
get some attention and sell for a good price. So um, there are two items so far in the last half of the box that I'm happy about. Uh, let's see, J. Crew factory sweater, size large. It's the short sleeve sweater. It's in pretty good condition. Looks like it was just lightly worn. I don't see a bunch of pilling, so that's nice. It's a great color. J. Crew is always a popular uh, brand. Let's see. This is pretty neat too. This is an Under Armour zip up jacket, a size medium. It has the thumb holes here, have your thumb holes. Um, it has a really cool side zip that can zip all the way up to your neck. So that's pretty neat. I think, and it has a little Under Armour logo. I think this is a men's, um, doesn't specifically say this is medium. So I'm going to look it up, see if I can find something, but the style makes me think men's medium. So um, either way, you know, men's athletic wear sells well. So that should be a good thing. And then we have um, the Anna New Approach Petite Blouse and Small. It's also pretty sheer. And it just has a bunch of like um, medallions on it. I don't know if that's picking up at all. But they're like gray and blue medallion. It's kind of an interesting design, but it does have the option to adjust your sleeves to a short sleeve if you'd like. Do you all sell a lot of petite size clothing? Because mine really sits. I don't sell a lot of petite clothing. Um, so I definitely stopped picking it up. Um, but I noticed, you know, some people do sell it. So, mm. so this is a Mossimo basic tea. I had a couple different Mossimo just plain teas. This one I thought I would keep because it has a little boyfriend pocket and it has, if you're picking this up, it has like a gold metallic uh, little dots all throughout. So it's not just like plain white. It has a little metallic glow going on. Uh, that's a size large. I don't really like to keep just basic teas in my closet because I feel like they sit a lot. So, uh, and then here's another one. This is the XXL white basic tee, a nice v-neck, but um, that's probably going to go to my buy sell trades. I'm just going to take off the hanger now because I know I, I, I'm just, I don't want to keep basic items again that are going to sit. So, okay. So this dress, super cute. The problem is it has no brand at all. No labels, nothing. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at the bottom with the crochet that the little peep that's really trending right now that the lining only goes so far down. So your legs are seen crochet overlay. Um, the back has a zipper. I mean, that's, it's super cute, but it has no label at all. I have no idea what brand. It had one little size, small label right there, which is like made in China. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping it would sell based off the design because it's really pretty. Um, it's like one of those dresses that you're like, man, I wish more people were wearing dresses right now. And I want someone to be able to wear that somewhere. So I hope someone is able to snag that up. This is a J. Crew. It's an old label, no size, but it's a blazer. And it's that velvet touch texture. It's like a chartreuse green. That's kind of not my thing, but someone probably loves this color. So uh, yeah, just a simple woman's blazer. J. Crew. And we have, uh, so this is an interesting brand. This is Morley and it's the Theta wool sweater, 100% pure wool. I can tell when I'm touching it, it's wool. Um, it's shrink resisting made in England. So if you see this label, it's, there aren't a lot of these on uh, Poshmark. I looked on there. There have been a few that have sold anywhere from like 25 to 30 dollars but then if you look at like trade z or ebay they sell up to 120 dollars because it's imported um what i like about the sweater it definitely needs some sweater shaving on the front for the pilling but it does have that um vintage look to it a lot of the the things i've seen for that were trending with the vintage styles had sweaters that looked just like this they got small you know tighter right here at the elastic plain brown and then they would pair it with you know a really cool skirt or something so um i guess this brand's pretty popular with its following i've never heard of it but we'll see how it does i'll, I'll share with you guys when it sells hopefully uh this is really cute it's a j crew sweater dress so cute love the turtleneck 
don't love this weird stitching that someone tried to restitch it right there. So someone did a little DIY right in there. And then it also does have quite a bit of wear on it that you're probably not able to pick up, but I can. So it's a size small, it's a wool nylon cashmere blend, 15% cashmere. So I have to think about what I want to do with it. Would someone buy it with that weird stitching right there? I mean, that just looks weird. So I don't know. Such a cute dress with the pockets. I mean, it's just adorable. But, you know, we're moving towards spring as well. So I'm not sure that a wool winter sweater dress is going to sell. I don't know. Okay. Um, this is a brand that's really cool too. Kate Hill, I think... I think Kate Hill is sold at Nordstrom. I'm not a 100%. Anyway, it's a black cardigan. It's in great condition. Feels like it's never been washed. You know, cardigans are very popular right now. Looks like it's an open front cardigan. Yep. Needs a washing just because it's got like lint and all that from sitting around, but the material feels like it has not been washed. So uh, that is a size medium. And then I have... This is Soprano, size medium dress. It's like it's a full length shirt dress. It's got the cute little bows on the side. It's red. Okay. And this is a Gap shirt, size large. It's got the three quarter sleeves. It's like a pink speckled heather color. Um, Gap is just, because mm, there are a few other Gap shirts that I put in my uh, buy, sell, trade pile. Um, people like some of the items. They've got some really cool pieces, but they just kind of sit. Like, I don't know. People say people love Gap, but I, I can't tell. I don't know. Okay, a few more items. Okay, this is an Apartment 9, which is sold at JCPenney's. Or Coles, either one. I never can remember. Uh, so it's a sheath dress. It's like a leopard print, I believe, leopard print. Maybe it's cheetah. I don't know. Zipper in the back. And it is a size medium. And this is a, another vintage shirt. I told you I've never seen so much vintage in a box. Um, and it's got the padded shoulders and everything. It's 100% silk. And this brand is T. TTW it does say made in China, but it's definitely the vintage tag. And this is your blouse, it's pretty long flowy blouse, which makes me think 90s probably. So it makes sense it's made in China. It's got little buttons on the, in there, but it is silk. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it does. I don't think it's a vintage piece that people are like specifically looking and sourcing for right now. There are certain styles that people like better. Um, I don't know how that will fare, but I'll probably post it. And then I have, this is interesting. It's Gilligan and O'Malley, which is sleepwear that sold at Target. Um, it's super soft, chenille, dark ground, dark green, geez, I don't know what to say, dark green. Um, size medium, it's a cropped sweater, the high-low, and it's hooded, but it's sleepwear. So, um, I mean, it would be really soft and cozy to wear to bed, I'll tell you that. So I'll list it, you know, just like that and see what people think. Another thing that I am not going to show you all, but I got plenty of was um, Soma Intimates. They have like sleepwear and um, there were a couple different tanks and just the tops, not the bottoms uh, that were sleepwear that I just set aside. I'll probably list them, but um, I just thought it wasn't really worth showing. Porto Cruise. This looks like a swimsuit cover-up, no size, but there you have it. Cute little swimsuit cover. I think with summer coming and the swimming happening that people are gonna want cover-ups. So here is one of our uh, Walmart specials. Time and true, new with tags, uh, size large. It is cute, I will say that. It's a dress, and it looks like it's an off-the-shoulder dress. It has the tassels, so you can see the tassels here. And it's just a long maxi dress. And, you know, it has a tag. It sold for $16.94, brand new. So, like, how much can I ask for this? <laughs> you know, like, 
not much, okay? If it sells brand new for $16, mm -hmm. but it's super cute. I mean, it's a nice summery dress for somebody, but we'll see how it does. I just, you know, not a huge fan of getting all that Walmart brand stuff, as you can tell. Renee C, and this is made in the USA, red sheer blouse to pop over. It's got the cut there. And this is a soft surroundings. I've never had soft surroundings. I hear that it sells well. This is a sheer like overlay blouse. I just don't think this is trending the style right now. So I'm not sure how it's going to do. Um, I have a couple other really cool like sheer overlay blouses that are just sitting there getting no love at all. So we will see. There's no size. Don't know the size on that one. And then I have Chico's um, Platinum Size 2, which I think is like an extra large. And not sure if it's showing, but these are more like a lavender purple. And then the pants are rolled up. Roll up pants, so good condition. I don't see many signs of wear there. I always like to have jeans. This sweater I just thought was so cute. It looks like it's made by a good brand, but there's just absolutely no tag, no brand, no size. It's a green sweater. I love the, um, the little shoulders right here, how they have a little bit of a puff there. That's really cute. Um, but I, again, I don't know what the brand is. I would just list it as a green sweater, try to get six or seven dollars out of it because I have no clue. Okay, and then so this is a Maurice's brand, uh, no size. Maybe there's one down here. It's a cardigan or a wrap, 100% cotton, no size. Okay, so anyway, this is the, the uh, long sleeve cardigan. It's like crochet, has the little hood, which is super cute. Looks like maybe a medium or a large. Here's another one of my uh, new with tags, Walmart items, time and true bathing suit. And yeah, I have sold some off-brand bathing suits before. So this could probably move. It's a size medium, 1996 is what it retail for. Again, brand new, never used. So it has that going for it. So, you know, I've seen people buy off-brand before with bathing suits. These are shorts, uh, made well shorts, no size in there. Um, I'm guessing they're like an extra large, that pretty pink brown blush color. Super cute. I like that. Madewell sells really well. So I'd like to get Madewell. This is one of those Soma Intimates that I was telling you about. So it's a sleepwear tank top. And it's got the lace back, size extra large. I do sell sleepwear quite a bit. Flannel pajamas, pant, just pants separates. I do sell those. So maybe that will, will move. This I am actually taking to my buy, sell trade. It's a black skirt, but I just wanted to show you because it's um, the brand, the label, Brooke Shields. I had no idea Brooke Shields was making skirts or clothing. Like what? That surprised me. So I am gonna take that to buy, sell trade, see if they'll take it off my hands. Um, all these, I have lots of skirts in here, lots of skirts. Uh, these are a pair of Maurice's, just khaki canvas pants, size 11, 12. Don't know how those will move, so I will, I'm probably going to take those and, and trade those in too. Uh, this is a really cute skirt. If, if they're super cute skirts, I keep them because some people might just like the look of it. That's Ann Taylor size zero with the stretchy waist, but how cute is that? It's got like the lace floral overlay. And it's lined, very cute. So I thought, ah, I'll keep that one, that might go. Okay, then I have another pair of Chino shorts, Old Navy size four. So I like getting the shorts, I don't mind that at all. I'm ready to get stocked up on that. Uh, this is a time and true, new with tags. Tank top retails for $12.88. It does have some cute stuff going for it that it has the ruffles, it has the tassel in the back. It's a cute little tank top. If it was my size, actually, I would have kept it, but it's a size large. Um, but I will try to sell that with summer coming. 
And these are Fabletics. There's no label. It just says Fabletics in the lining. But so I don't know what the size is, but they're kind of cute because they're like a purple black burgundy, like a, some kind of print on there. But they're just the, you know, right below the knee leggings. Um, people are saying that Fabletics does not move for them. I've only sold one item ever that's Fabletics, so I don't really pick it up. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. And these I had a lot of Old Navy, if you notice. Old Navy Pixie Ankle size 16 jeans. So here they are. I like that red, white, and blue striping, though. That's really cool. And they're kind of stretchy a little bit. And then the bottom, you know, just a straight leg. But I did like that piping along the side that I think will help sell them. So, you know, not too bad. And then here's just a plain tank top. Um, this is Jillian Nicole, size large. Lots of plain tanks, which I don't have a lot of luck selling plain tank tops. I don't know about you all, but I don't. I just sit and sit and sit. Um, these are ambiance, uh, size medium, chino shorts. I did look up comps on these. You see they have that rolled short. Um, and they were pretty good, actually, like $25 to $30 for a pair of shorts. I've never heard of this brand, so that's new to me. So I will definitely list those. And then these are Express, size 2. They're like kind of dress pants, but they're cropped. So they're great to wear in the office in the summer, and they feel brand new. They're so soft. So I would probably list those. I don't have a lot of just plain black pants. And these were super like bougie. Uh, they're Michael Kors pants. Look at these. I mean, these are like, what? <laughs> they're really noticeable. You got the little logo in the back. Uh, no size on these, but they, the tag inside, everything looks like it's never been washed. So I'm not sure, but yeah, these, I have to post them just because they're so bougie looking. They're, they're unique in that way, so they're getting they're getting listed. Okay, um, and then these are a linen pant, um, linen rayon blend, and they're Sutton Studio size twelve. But these are great for like the summer, so they're not necessarily palazzo pants, but they're just like a nice breathable linen pant for the summer. Pinstripe in there couple items left and then we're done. I'm tired of going through this box. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Express Design Studio, again, size four. It's a skirt. I'm keeping it because it's, again, these skirts were cute with that little front slit and because it's plaid and y'all know I love plaid. I gotta have plaid in my closet. So I'm gonna keep that skirt. I'll probably end up with a ton of skirts <laughs> just sitting there. Um, and then these last pair, these are super cute, actually. Lauren Ralph Lauren size six. They're cropped pants, like a cotton blend. Can you see the like pink and white? They're so cute. I thought those were adorable and they're great for the summer. So that's it. The rest I just set aside. It was just like repetitive tank tops or pajama tanks, um, a few pairs of pants, linen pants, but that's what I got in my first box. Some of the items I'm very happy with the brands and, and the quality. I think most of the quality is actually really good in this box. So I'm happy about that. A few things need to be um, like sweater shade, but overall the quality is pretty good. Um, I'm a little disappointed in some of the brands and like just, there's like a ton of just like tank tops thrown in that don't even have labels, lots of items without labels. Um, and it's literally my exact complaint about my first box from Georgia. So it kind of happened again. Um, but I think, you know, there are some high value items in there that I can definitely resell and at least minimum get my money back for this particular box. I'm really hoping that next box is just going to blow me away because I have seen the best unboxings for these bulk orders. I mean, I have seen people get some really nice stuff and I'm just like, um, I'm waiting for that to happen. So we will see when the next box arrives, I will record it and be watching, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when the next video comes. But this is part two, we'll have a three and a four as I unbox the next one. 
I hope that your week is wonderful and your sales are plentiful and make sure you're taking care of yourself. Take some time out for you. Okay. We'll see you next time. Thank you.